All right, YouTubers. This is a very special Sega Genesis game nerd video, as I'm doing probably one of the rarest games for the Genesis, as you may have heard. <clears throat> How y'all doing? Uh, the game I'm talking about, of course, is Lucia. Today I'm going to be doing it, going over it. This game pretty much uh, ranks up there as one of the rarest for the Genesis. Not counting uh, PAL games, or Mega Drive games, or bootlegged games, or the championship cartridge as being really expensive, but Musha can rank up pretty high prices on eBay. Anyway, let's get to it. I got a tripod now, so no more hazing around for the for the anyway, Musha. The Sega Genesis. Released by Seismic in 1990 it's basically a shmup or shooter shoot em up or shooter whichever way you want to prefer it this game's a lot of fun this game's also can be really hard at the same time and it's got a killer soundtrack listen to that soundtrack. I mean, you can listen to this soundtrack anywhere. Like in your car, just for leisure. It's like one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard. Anyway, let's get started. Basically, it's a shooter game. You gotta get power-ups. And you get these little buddies, I guess you call them. These things. that fall from like a... I guess you could say a shooter or a starship thing. You basically fall every now and then, and, they, and you shoot them, and you pick them up, and they give you uh, power-ups, and sorts of cool things. And then you get these little power-up things, like green. Gives you more easy. And the more you pick up, the more uh, powerful you become. Maybe. Anyway, I never actually successfully completed this game because I'd get kind of up there and then just, I don't know, give up or die most times because, I don't know, this game's, it's fun, it can be hard, I'm not really good at shooters myself. Yeah, for a while I was debating what video I wanted to do next, and I did a Sega Genesis 32X video, but I decided not to uh, complete it because I was having tr trouble with the camcorder. I just recently fixed it, so it's working now. Yeah. I have to say though, playing this game, on my TV from a distance, I can actually see it a lot better than up close. I guess it's because I'm using just a straight uh, composite instead of a modified or, you know, this video or anything like that. I'm just using straight composite to uh, uh, 720p LCD TV. Probably not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is play it on an old original TV myself. <laughs> I just um, but yeah, 
yeah, get it, if you got a chance, so subscribe to uh, YouTube.com, Dragon Tail 112. Otherwise known as the Sega Genesis movie. Now I got my camcorder working, I will definitely be uh, doing more reviews here shortly. I just got a few, I just got a couple new games for my Sega collection. I will definitely be reviewing them shortly here. I've just been also busy with work and everything, I just don't have time to do this. I need to be working or sleeping, or just being lazy and just not getting around to it. But definitely we'll be doing a lot more videos shortly. I haven't, I haven't gotten rid of the, uh, the, this concept to say this, but this is really something I want to do. Ah, uh, these guys I always die at. See? I, I don't know how to use my bombs. If anybody knows how to use them, let me know. But anyway, as, as I was saying, this game ranks up in prices on, uh, on eBay, like up to like $70 for a loose cart, to about a hundred and like, I guess 130 for a complete part. I got mine for 60 on Amazon. And I paid pretty, a pretty penny for this game. Just because I really wanted to get it. Uh, the first time I heard about this game was on... I guess I was just looking for the, one of the rarest games for the Genesis. I wanted to see which one was up there, and this one was on that list, and it's, I have to say it is pretty much on the list for a reason. It is pretty fun. The other other rare games, a couple of them aren't really a game, like one of them is the Miracle Piano game. That isn't really a game, that's more like a piano teaching type thing. The piano is what makes, makes it work the most. And then you got Crusader Senti, that's an RPG, that's, that can rank up there pretty high. And then, uh, Tetris, yeah, Sega made a version of Tetris back in the day, and that ranks up there pretty high prices, because it's, I guess there's only like 10 made, supposedly. And there's a bunch of uh, pirated copies, I've seen a pirated copy on eBay recently for like 300 bucks. Wow. This boss is pretty easy to defeat. Because all he does is shoot skulls straight at you. So you just gotta dodge him. There we go. Got him. Beat the first level. Anyway, that's Musha. You go throughout, I guess there's a few levels. There's like, uh, you know, five or six maybe. But, uh, anyway, that's Musha for the Sega Genesis. One of the rarest games for the Genesis. Not the rarest, but it's one of them. Uh, this is what the artwork looks like. You can see it here. Seismic. Pretty detailed, I'd have to say, for a Sega Genesis game. Pretty detailed. Anyway, Sega Genesis nerd signing out. Uh, good gaming, and uh, definitely check out Musha if you get a chance to. And also subscribe to me. I'd, I'd love to hear your input and uh, watch my other videos on there too. Alright, thank you.